Hey, Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN with Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day. So we did a Fix Me Stick review, I guess it was about a year ago, and uh, we like to update our product review. So um, they sent us another one, and we wanted to run another review based on the updated software that's on the Fix Me Stick. So uh, we have this virus-infected computer. It was from a customer that came in, and we got their permission and decided to do a, um, a, a trial on their computer. Now, the first thing we do is verify that the computer did have some sort of malware, adware, grayware infection. I did a search for myself, Chuck Fresh, and I came up with anti-aging products and all kinds of advertisements on the Google homepage, which is obviously infected by some sort of plugins. And then we see all this junk come up. So we know this computer definitely has a problem. Sorry for the shaky video, but I don't want to install stuff on people's computers without their permission. So um, let's take a look at uh, what we can do here. So this is the Fix Me Stick. It looks the same. Um, you flip the little top off, which is kind of cool. It's small. It comes in a big box, and the big red light lights up like you're some kind of security patrol officer, which is kind of cool. And um, it was recognized and installed automatically. I mean, apparently, there's all kinds of crap running on the background. We've got BitTorrent and some other nastiness here. And the uh, Avast and Security Essentials, which is slowing the whole thing down, too. So it lights up to let you know that, hey, I can see this, and the computer's talking to it. And then uh, you wait for it to come up, and it pops up in a second here. So in this case, I had to open up my computer and then open the, uh, showed up as the E drive, and I clicked on Run Fix Me Stick, and it initiates the uh, setup here and tells you what to do from here. And uh, it tells me it sees it now, it's talking, and it wants to reboot and automatically boot from the USB drive called the Fix Me Stick. So we'll let it reboot and uh, check out the interface when it comes up. So it reboots to this, uh, looks like a Linux shell uh, with the little logo so that you know that you've booted from the Fix Me Stick. And uh, it takes a second to come up. It took a little while for this whole thing to load, but apparently it's loading in the background. I could probably hit a button or two, but I didn't want to ir interfere with it during our testing. We'll see how this thing would work natively for uh, anyone else. So uh, it had to go online and check the network connection. Now, this could be a problem if you have a proxy server or something that's infected your computer. However, it looks like it was able to find the Wi-Fi settings that I had previously just set up while I was in Windows. So um, it did connect to the network and managed to find the Wi-Fi settings, and it began to download the updates. As you can see, it uses a pretty heavy-duty suite, including Kaspersky, Sophos, and Viper. So it's got a, a nice set of tools here in terms of uh, malware and virus detection and removal suites. So we've got her plugged in and running, and uh, we'll go ahead and complete the scan and uh, see what this thing finds. But wait a minute. So what I've decided to do is pull the plug on the Fix Me Stick, and uh, let me go back and scan with some other tools as a benchmark. So I'm back in my computer now. I've got this weird pop-up thing coming up now, and it's a different thing with this one of these fake 800 numbers and uh, this relentless pop-up that won't go away. So uh, what I wanted to do is scan it with uh, some of the traditional tools that I and other computer technicians use, including ADW Cleaner, Malwarebytes, maybe Hitman Pro, um, and some of the other stuff to see. Uh, to kind of create a benchmark to find out if the Fix Me Stick is going to pick up the same kind of stuff. Also, we're going to look at the plugins within Chrome, and this Enter Digital is something we've seen before, and uh, this is ca definitely causing a problem, probably giving all of those pop-ups that are coming in Chrome with all those fake advertisements telling us there's something wrong. So first we ran ADW Cleaner, and um, when it completed, it found a whole bunch of stuff here. So now we'll have sort of a benchmark here so that we can look at when we complete the Fix Me Stick, stick uh, scans to see if it found similar uh, adware malware when we run the uh, Fix Me Stick. And we ran malware bytes, found a whole bunch of stuff on here too, including the same plugins, but I'm not going to remove them right now. I'm going to go ahead and run the Fix Me Stick, and now that we have our benchmarks and we know what we're looking for, we can see if the Fix Me Stick is as effective or more effective than uh, what we've run in our traditional suite of tools. So we're going to go ahead and reboot with the Fix Me Stick, and it comes up automatically boots, which is real nice, so it's ready for us. And uh, we'll jump in there and uh, let it run its update. If there's any more updates, it should have remembered the updates. It is writable. Hey, there I am. Again, sorry for this terrible video, but again, I don't want to use uh, 
put something software on uh, somebody else's computer. Uh, they did okay us to uh, use this Fix Me Stick in uh, testing and cleaning up their computer. So they just want it cleaned up. They didn't care how we did it. So uh, the Fix Me Stick loads its Linux shell, takes a little bit of time. It's connecting to the network. And uh, my wireless turned out to be a little slow, so I went ahead and plugged a LAN cable in. If you don't want uh, an infected computer on your wireless network, which is probably a good idea, you should probably plug the LAN cable in, let it do its updates, and then y yank the uh, LAN cable out uh, once it's got all its updates. So we'll go ahead and run the scans and see what the Fix Me Stick will find. The Fix Me Stick has a couple of different options here. You can scan just individual disks. I think you can scan individual drives too, but I just let this thing scan the entire computer. And if you don't want to do it, just flip back. Well, we've completed our scan, and unfortunately, bad news, this found no infections. Now, again, I'm not sure if the Fix Me Stick is scanning for viruses and not traditional malware. And really, there were, uh, well, actually, there were a couple of Trojans on this thing, which I'll show you some screenshots later. But the Fix Me Stick failed to find anything. And uh, when we booted it back up, we had the same problem with the browser plugins. It failed to take that stuff out of the computer. So it looks like Hitman Pro found a couple of Trojans on this thing and some uh, potentially unwanted programs that um, Fix Me Stick did not find this time around. Uh, reminder, we're going to try it through uh, two more times. We get three more tries for a full year, and you can use it on three computers. So we're going to give it two more shots. Of course, Security Essentials didn't find anything, but these days it's not really finding much of anything at all unless they're bonafide viruses or Trojans, which uh, we just don't see that many of anymore. More of our today's infections are uh, the malware type. And then uh, we were on ADW Cleaner and removed a whole bunch of those Chrome plugins we saw earlier. And uh, also went and ran malware bytes after we ran ADW and uh, Hitman Pro, and I found a little bit of residual here for that potentially unwanted product in uh, Chrome, and it removed that. And uh, as the last thing, we went ahead and run Combo Fix just to make sure she's all cleaned up. We did run JRT and uh, some other stuff in CCleaner to finish up the cleanup too. But this time around, the uh, Fix Me Stick did not come in as great as I had hoped it would. It's still not the end-all be-all, but stay tuned to this channel. We'll review it two more times and uh, give it the, the best possible shot we can. Chuck Fresh, PCGY, and Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day.